Prince Harry slept through phone calls telling him Prince Philip had died before police turned up at his house to inform him. It has been claimed. The Duke of Edinburgh passed away at Windsor Castle on April 9, with the U.S. Embassy then trying desperately to reach Harry at his mansion in Montecito, California. But it was 3 a.m. local time and he and wife Meghan reportedly slept through the calls, though it's unclear if the ringer was switched on. When no one answered an embassy representative called the Santa Barbara Sheriff's Department and asked if someone could drive over to the £11 million house and tell him the unfortunate news, reports TMZ. An officer spoke to one of the couple's staff members at the gate and they went to tell Harry he needed to urgently call the embassy, the news outlet claims. A palace source said how the Sussexes were contacted about Philip's death was a private matter and would not comment further. The Duke of Sussex, 36, then flew back to Britain for Philip's funeral on April 17, in the midst of controversy over the bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview he and Meghan had taken part in weeks before. They told the chat show host questions had been raised about the colour of then-unborn son Archie's skin colour, amid other damaging allegations. Harry is understood to have isolated at Frogmore Cottage prior to the stripped-back service at St George Chapel within the grounds of Windsor. The Queen had gifted the property to him after he got married, before relocating to the US in March last year. Meghan, who remains heavily pregnant with her second child, was advised by doctors not to make the trip to the UK. It comes after Harry admitted he was frightened of the reaction on his return home for the funeral. The whole world was watching when he reunited with his family which included chatting to brother Prince William as they walked away from the service at the end. Speaking to Oprah for Apple Plus TV's documentary The Me You Can't See, he said, I was worried about it, I was afraid. Coping mechanisms learned in therapy got the prince through the funeral with his family. With the exception of his heart pounding, Harry managed to keep his cool for the funeral. He added, it definitely made it a lot easier but the heart still pounds. A palace source said, regardless of truth or otherwise, we would not comment on this as it is a personal and private matter which I don't believe is any way in the public interest to print. How someone is told of the passing of a loved one is not really a suitable matter for conjecture or speculation. It is private.